This is a set of slide rule chopsticks. It has the usual C scale and D scale, and then on the back you get the A scale for squares and the K scale for cubes. Very nice, pretty fine markings on there. They're square profile stainless steel with some ridges down at the bottom. And like any classy chopsticks, they come with the little stand thing. And that thing is the line up thing for the slide rule. They thought of everything. I never thought I'd say it, but this video is sponsored content. I've been avoiding doing this in the past. You know, I have a real job and on YouTube, I earn only the chumpiest of change. So even if I could like double my chumps by doing lots of ads, I'm not really interested. And I don't expect to do this kind of thing very often. But apparently I'm one of the foremost content creators in the area of novelty slide rules and the creators of the slide rule chopsticks reached out to me. And I thought they were cute. It's the kind of thing I'd make a video about anyway. So I said to them, let me make this simple. If you send me the slide rule chopsticks, I will do anything that you ask. These actually come in the latest curiosity box. It's a subscription box with math and science type stuff in it. Good for teenagers or older folks. Made by some YouTube guy, I don't know. You get a box of stuff every three months. This one had a book of puzzles, a t-shirt, a helical jigsaw puzzle, which is pretty cool, a prism, and of course, the slide rule chopsticks. Look at that, you get two sets for you and that special someone. You get a little magazine type thing here with more background about all the different things. It's a nice little package. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you can sign up with the promo code ORIGINAL25 to get 25% off your first box. You can scan this thing or follow my special link down there if you're interested and they'll throw me some bones too. I've never really made a video about a traditional slide rule, but these things are actually pretty close to the standard model. A real fancy slide rule will have several different scales on it for doing different things, but the main scales are the C and the D scales. They're actually the same scale, but the D is typically the one fixed on the body, and the C is the one that slides back and forth. These are logarithmic scales, and you use them for multiplication and division. Sliding these next to each other adds the logarithms, and because of this law of logarithms, adding the logarithms results in multiplying the numbers on the inside. So that's why it works, but you don't really have to understand any of that. Just remember how to slide the thing. If you line up one on top with something else, like a six on the bottom, then because of how the scales work, every number on the bottom is now six times the number on the top. See the two lines up with the 12, the three with the 18, and that's how you multiply. You wanna do four times seven, I line up the one with the seven, and then I look at the four and read the answer here. The scales on this thing are a little hard to read. They're super small and it has to catch the light just right, but they're trying to mark it up in a way that won't wear off when you use them and wash them, so I appreciate that. But I think there's some kind of printing error on the C scale where the number 20 should be, the digit two is missing. It's like that on both sets. Gotta look into that, guys. A real slide rule has this thing called the cursor. It's just a straight line that helps you line stuff up precisely. You really need the cursor if you're using lots of scales. Like here's my Dietzken many phase multiplex vector type log log rule. And what if I wanna line up a number on the D scale with some number on the L scale? It makes a nice line, so like the three on the D scale makes something like 4.7 on the L scale. This is actually how you would find the base 10 log of three. The sliding cursor isn't really necessary if you're just looking at two scales right next to each other. So it's kind of a gimmick for the slide rule chopsticks. There's only two scales there and they're not separated at all. So you don't need any help lining them up. But I do like the cursor on this thing. It's cute and it actually does kind of help to hold them together. Without it, they sort of get out of alignment and maybe they get turned a bit. So it does help, although I wish they fit a bit more snug in there. It's still pretty wobbly. A real engineering slide rule has several different scales for doing different types of stuff. Logarithms, exponents, trig functions, all the stuff an engineer would typically want to do. There's 20 different scales on this thing, on the front and the back. And the slide rule chopsticks have scales on the back too. The C scale has a K on the back and the D scale has an A on the back. Nothing on the other two sides of the chopsticks. I mean, you got four sides here, so they could have given me two more scales on each stick, right? 
Maybe they left these blank because you're gonna be sliding along those sides and maybe the friction would mess up the scales. And both pairs of sticks in the set have the same scales, a C and a D and a K and a A. Again, with four sticks and four sides each, they could have made lots more unique scales, but I guess they're trying to keep it simple. And of course, you do want you and your friend to be able to calculate at the same time, so I appreciate that. The C and the D scales are for multiplying and dividing. The A is for squares, either finding the square of something, or if you reverse the process, you can get square roots. Like if you put the C next to the A, you see every mark on the A is the square of the same mark on the C. So if I want 12 squared, I find 12 on the C. Look across to the A, it looks like a little less than 150. Or you can look back the other way to get a square root, like look at 200 on the A, then it lines up with a little more than 14 on the C. All right. At the top of the stick, you can see these labels. The C and the A were the standard names for these scales in the old days, but they also wrote these X to the one and X squared, just to help you remember what those are for. You know, for the kids that didn't grow up with the standard names. The K scale here, that's for cubes and cube roots. Like the cube root of 200 is a little bit less than six, right on. You don't mind answers like that, right? A little bit less than six. This is just how a slide rule works. It's a purely analog device, which means sometimes the answer is in between and you just gotta eyeball it. That's why in the old days, people actually wanted big slide rules. Making it bigger allows you to read the scale markings better, which gives more accurate answers. The size matters. The slide rule scales on this thing are pretty small. The distance from one to 100 is less than four inches. So maybe check your answers if it's important. The little magazine here that comes in the box has some nice history about the slide rule and about chopsticks and some instructions in there. The original box is very nice. It's got a magnetic flap on the side and two little homes for them to sit in. And how do they work as chopsticks? I don't actually do metal chopsticks very often. I have these ones I got in Korea, but unfortunately I'm simply too white to use them effectively. These ones though, even I can do them. You know, to be honest, when the Curiosity Box people told me about these slide rule chopsticks, I figured I could just go to eBay or something and buy them myself. Like every science museum must have something like this in the gift shop, right? But it says in the little booklet, this was an in-house creation. And as far as I can tell, it's true. Nobody else ever made slide rule chopsticks before. Huh. Makes me wonder, what other common things are there that you could make into a slide rule? I had this idea. Really? Nobody's made slide rule skis? Come on, guys. How about forearm tattoos? You like slide them like this, huh? Adam Savage made these, but they're just ordinary linear rulers. Come on, man. He was so close. Now hear me out now. Circular slide rule turntables. The clubs are not ready for my logarithmic beats. Mm -hmm.